Hi guys, Kaiser here, and welcome back to Age of Empires 3. In today's video, all I want to do is show off all of the new, unique reskins and redesigns that have been added into the game in this most recent public update preview. The art team has gone hard, adding a lot of aesthetic flair to the European civilizations in this upcoming patch, and I want to showcase it because they have done a really awesome job. Now, we're going to be looking at three things in this video. First, we're going to be looking at the new Russian unique units, the Rekrut and the Poruchik, which are pretty cool blockhouse units. Second, we're going to be looking at all of the Royal Guard units for the European civilizations. Now, if you're not familiar, every European Civ gets two Royal Guard units. Here we see with the Russians, uh, their Royal Guard units are the Cavalry Archer, named the Dvoriane, and the Grenadier, now called the Pavlov Grenadiers. And what those Guard units do, Guard upgrades typically add on 30% more stats onto the Union when you research the Guard upgrade. If your civilization has a Royal Guard unit, you get more than 30%. It used to be 40%, although in the most recent patch notes, uh, it looks like the guard upgrade itself has been reduced in its cost and its research time, but often only gives 35% more stats instead of 30%. Uh, instead of, well, it used to be 40, right? So it's more accessible, but not quite as powerful, right? So every European civilization has, I believe it's two Royal Guard units, and now, with this most recent patch, they have a unique look to them. Finally, we're going to showcase, at least in splash art form, uh, the new explorers that have been added in with this most recent patch as well. So, buckle in, it's going to be fun. We're starting with the Russians, because not only do they have their Royal Guard units, and not only do they have their unique church card shipments, but they also have some remodeled units out of the blockhouse. We have the Russian Musketeers, now called the Recruit, and you can see the Feudal Age version right here, as well as the Poruchik, which is the Russian Halberdier, now available in Age 2, and looking very cool. I love both of these units, they look amazing. I particularly enjoy how the Russian Imperial Eagle is on his chest plate there. That's really neat. That's the Feudal Age version. If I turn on speed always wins. Let's see. Here's the Fortress Age version of the Musketeer and of the Halberdier. All right. And um, what I can do, let's, let's do that right there. Okay. And pick up. There we go. The Imperial or the Industrial Age version of the Musketeer and the Halberdier. Very, very cool. Let's also really quickly pull up the St. Petersburg Dragoons. Not the Cossacks. Get them out of the way. All right. There we go. Now, I will say, I don't know if there, is, if there is a historical reason. I don't like the name of these units, these counter Dragoons, because they're just Dragoons, to my understanding. They're, they're not special anti-Dragoon Dragoons or anything like that. They're just plain old Dragoons. They do look... Really, really cool. I love it. And over here we do have as well the Lifeguard Jaegers. Chevone like infantry. Now these guys, counter Jaegers, they are counter skirmisher units. So the name makes sense here. And they also look exceedingly cool. Look at that. That's awesome. Now the Royal Guard units for the Russians are the Grenadiers. So let's see. I believe that's their look right there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Pavlov Grenadiers. And uh, the other unit is the... What used to be the Tatar? Veteran Cav Archer here. Yeah, here we go. D... Dvorianin. I don't know how to pronounce that. But, very cool remodeled Russian Cav Archer. Really, really nice. So, the Russians aesthetically look awesome. Alright, next up we've got the British. And if we look at their unique church shipments first, I think the one big change is with the Black Watch. Shipping eight Black Watch Highlanders from the homeland, they now have an extremely cool look. 
Look at these guys. Isn't that awesome? Is that not cool? They're wearing their kilts and their plaid and everything. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. So they've got a unique look. And then the Royal Guard units for the British are the Redcoat Musketeer, which just look more red coat than ever. Uh, they are... I, I love how even... Uh, I am Team Blue, but they still find a way to wear the red coat while showing off the team colors, so they're cool. You've got the the thicker, whiter bandoliers, and they just look amazing. That's so cool. So you got your Redcoat Musketeer, and then the Lifeguard Hussar is the other Royal Guard unit. Yes. And now... Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. The British Cav, looking more British than ever. The you King's really Lifeguard Hussar. That's so cool. That is so cool. Next up, we have the Dutch. And let's take a look at their church first. The Red Lancers. Stradiot like cavalry that are good against infantry. And the Blue Guard. 30 musket armed Blue Guards from the homeland. Commando. Here are the Red Lancers. Oh, yeah. those guys look so cool. That is awesome. That is so cool. And then here we go the Blue yeah. Musketeers. Oh, yeah. The Blue Guard. Okay. Yeah. Extremely, extremely okay. cool. Oh, that is so neat. That is so fantastic. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the guard units that we have are the Halberdier okay. and the Reuter. Now, the Reuter is already a unique unit, so I'm not sure if this will be any different. Let's find out. Yeah. I believe that's old, if I'm not mistaken. They look cool, so I'll spotlight them anyway. But I think that's an old design. But then over here with the halberdier. Yeah! Okay. The Stadsvacht halberdier. Very, very cool. I, I see the frills. Ah! That's so neat. Alright, those are the Dutch. Let's take a look at the French. And if we pull up their church first, we see that they have the young guard. Shipping guard units, which, yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, four young guard, which have a unique skin. Now, what I wonder is, do they change when they go from young guard to the middle guard? No, they don't. Okay, so they just have the French, uh, what are they called? They're called the grenadier. I guess just grenadier. The French grenadier skins. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Okay. No, when they when they turn so from young to middle they have the same skin, but from middle to the old guard, they upgrade their looks even further. That's really cool. Decidedly French. And let's very quickly deal with this explorer, shall we? Beautiful. You gotta love it. All right. Let me see. Is that the only thing they get? I I believe that's all for the, the, the church. So, their royal guard units are the cuirassier and the skirmisher. Now, again, just like with the, with the Dutch, I'm pretty sure the cuirassier... Yeah, they, that's old. Very cool, but that's an older design. They're already a unique unit, so no changes there. But, for the skirmisher... Take a look at what they've got. When we upgrade to Voltigeurs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go march them over with the uh, the Grenadier. Ah, uh, does that not look amazing? Is that not so much more satisfying to play as the French when you've got designs like these? I, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's fantastic. Very, Now, very looking cool. at the Germans, not a lot has changed in the aesthetic department. If we take a look at their church shipments, the only military shipment they get is Zweihanda, which sends 12 Doppel Soldners and increases their HP and range, which is really cool. But uh, it doesn't change their look at all. That's The Doppel Soldners are a unique unit, so they've already got their designs. Also, one of their Royal Guard units is the Veteran Ulan, which becomes the Prussian Ulan. And I don't believe there are any changes to that design there. They've been renamed from the uh, Japka Ulan to the Prussian Ulan, but uh, other than that easier to pronounce name, I'm pretty sure they look the same. 
The one change that is made, which is very cool, is with the other Royal Guard unit, the Veteran Skirmisher. Let's see. Their upgrade upgrades them to Prussian Needle Guns. And here's the Needle Gunner now. Oh, that is so awesome. Uh, now we have Pickelhauben in the game, the spiky helmet of the Prussians. Very, very cool. And I predict that that headpiece right there will be very useful for some of the uh, mods that I've spotlighted on this channel before. I think there are going to be some people that are very excited to take advantage of some of the art assets that have been added into this patch. Very neat. Now let's take a look at the Italians, and they are unique in a couple interesting ways. First, we go to the Basilica, and we see Carabinieri, veteran carbine cavalry, with their new unique look. Oh yeah, 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 that's classically Italian right there. Very cool. March over and deal with that explorer, why don't you guys? And I believe... Resorgimento ships 15 revolutionaries. Let's see if they look unique. Sure enough, they do! If I am not mistaken, that's Garibaldi's red shirts right there, yeah. Red shirt, right? Oh, that's cool. They actually got the rename and the look and everything. <laughs> it's so awesome. Go over there and deal with that explorer. Now, the one way that the Italians are unique is that um, their Royal Guard units are both artillery. So, we have the Culverin. And... Alright, so we've got the Culverin and the Mortar are the two Royal Guard units. So, let's pick up Galilean Mortars. Very nice, very nice. And I don't know how much the actual artillery piece changes. It looks... Is it always that bronze? Does that look a little different? I don't know. Obviously, the figures uh, carrying the piece uh, definitely have changed to have a very Italian look, which is pretty neat. And then with the culverins as well, they have been upgraded now to spring guards. And isn't that interesting? Look at how the... Lufaro. Presto Lufaro. I don't believe that they always have had Lufaro. that carapace there. Lufaro. Sure enough, look at that. Lufaro. They had, like, no... Hold on one second. Speed... Alright, now that's turning that... Yeah. Let me see if that... I want to I make sure that the, um, that immediate transition time, yeah, sure, okay, that, that was because of the cheat code. All right, but either way, they look really cool. They look very different. I like it. The spin guard. Nice. All right, so taking a look very, at the Maltese nice. here, and I, I did confirm it does not look like any additions have been made to the commandery. So whether you're shipping in Casadors or you are picking up your order, order Hussar or order Dragoon or whatever, I do believe those units look the same as always. At least out of the vanilla editions. Uh, so we're still looking at the Royal Guard units and the unique shipments. Knights of the Hospital. They ship one Hospitaler for each hospital you have on the map. Up to a maximum of 25. I don't believe that will change anything. Let me very quickly put up some regular hospitalers here. All right. That's their default look. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Let's go over here. Yeah. No changes there. And... No changes there. And the Teutonic Helmet, of course, which is amazing. But also, that's old school. So, uh, nothing new there. So nothing out of the church. Their units that are Royal Guard units are the Crossbowman, which upgrades to the Arbaluster. Yeah! Yes! That is so cool. Ah! The Crusader fantasies are real. All right, so you line them up right there with the Teutonic Knights. Now you're cooking. Very, very nice. And then the other unique unit is 
the culverin, which upgrades to the basilisk. Or the basilisk. Oh, that's cool. Look at those guns! Wow! Very nice. They even have the Maltese cross there across the supporting platform. Very nice. Very nice. Now, I've... These are these units do poison damage. Let's well, so much for poison. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh that's really awesome. I love it. I love it. That's so cool. Look I'm at looking at the Ottomans. I don't believe anything has changed. They were so thoroughly redesigned in the last patch that there's not a lot of you know old vanilla designs to rework. But just in case, let's take a look at what they've got. Uh, in the mosque, their unique texts. Ship 20 Nizam Fusilier. Ship the mighty Topku Cannon Corps. And ship 5 Sipahi. Not Spahi anymore, but Sipahi, which is the correct name. And these guys look amazing. Don't get me wrong. But I'm pretty sure these are old designs. The Sipahi might be new. That might be new, but I, I think that's old. And then the Nizam Fusilier. Yeah, that's all old. Their Royal Guard units are the uh, the Veteran Deli upgrades to the Rumeliot. Isn't that just cool? And then the, uh, the Humbarachi. Which upgrade to the Ulufeli. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Now, the Portuguese are going to be particularly blessed with this most recent patch because they actually have three Royal Guard units. But let's take a look at their church first. And they have a single card, single technology that ships units. The Order of the Tower and the Sword ships 11 Black Riders. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That is cool. And I am guessing, because of the symbols, yeah, I, I believe this is a unique skin for the Order Knights. This is not just a um, a Black Rider reskin. No, that's a unique look for the Order of the Tower and Sword. Isn't that what it was called? The Order of the Tower and Shield? Order of Tower and Sword? Something like that. Very, very cool Portuguese unique unit there. And as I mentioned in my patch notes video, I think this is a unit and a tech that the Portuguese player may want to take significant advantage of because Black Riders have been significantly buffed in the most recent patch. Now, the Royal Guards, we've got three units. The Veteran Dragoon upgrades to the Legion Dragoon. The Crossbowman upgrades to the Ordinance Bestairos. And the Musketeer upgrades to the Legionarios. So, let's upgrade them real quick. Dragoon. Yeah! Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright. Crossbowman. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome. I love that. And then over here, the Musketeer. Yes, yeah, they've got a very, um... What's the word I want to use? Like this muted brown, which I think looks really cool. It can, kind of gives them a leather cowboy sort of flair to my American eyes, but uh, they look really neat. I love these redesigns. This is awesome. Alright, Portugal. Nice. Now, taking a look at the Spanish, uh, they do have three Royal Guard units. However, two of them are Spanish unique units. We have the Veteran Lancer, which upgrades to the Garochistas. And we have the Rodolero, which upgrades to the Espada Chains. So I don't believe these designs are new. I'll show them off anyway. And over here, let's go. Very nice. That might be a new look. I, I don't want to... I, you know, I don't want to embarrass myself by... Saying, yeah, these are old, but they, they look really, really cool. So, that's really awesome. Now, we'll save the pipe, and that's the other Royal Guard unit that upgrades. I'll get there in a second, but let's go over to the church first. We get, from the Spanish, uh, as far as shipments go, Royal Alabarderos, 
shipping 13 halberdier from the homeland. And wild geese. Ships a large amount of the famed wild geese, Irish brigadiers from Ireland. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. That is cool. Yes. I love it. Fantastic. That's awesome. And then we also ship the... Nice. Very... Oh, that is cool. Look, look, they're like wearing these jackets that are hanging over the arms. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh, I love that. That's cool. All right. And then finally, we have the pikeman upgrade. Here we go. The tercio. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. That is cool. I love it. Yep. That's fantastic. And finally, very, very we nice have the Spanish. Swedish. Now, one of the Swedish Royal Guard units is the Hakapelle. So I am predicting that this unit should be an old design. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's new. Very cool looking. The Drabant here. Very uh, Swedish. But I think that's an old one. It's very cool regardless. If we go over to our unique church here, we get a couple of shipments. The Gustavian Guards ships 16 halberd armed Gustavian Guards from the homeland. Savolax Jägers ships six Jägers and upgrades them all into Savolax Jäger. Here we go. Very nice. Very, very cool. That's a unique look for the Jäger. I love it. Fantastic. And Gustavian Guards. Yeah, that's exactly what they should look like. Very nice. Very, very cool. All right, I love it. I love it. That's cool. The other Royal Guard unit that the Swedes get are the pikemen. Pikemen upgrade to the Dalkarl pikemen. So let's take a look at them. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yes. That's fantastic. Very much a kind of a... I, I, I see the Swedish influence there, the... The Winter Warrior of the Dalkarl Pikeman. Nice. Very cool. Finally, we've got to look at all of the new explorers that have been added into the game with this upcoming patch. Explore cosmetics are definitely one of the most fun parts of Age of Empires 3. Uh, I'm going to flash through them really quickly, but guys, I hope you've enjoyed this cosmetic overview of the visual changes that are coming to Age of Empires 3. If you did, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you that does that. Thank you so much, and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite change is and what you hope to see in the future from Age of Empires 3. With that, let's flash through these explorers really quickly. The Aztecs have been given the Aztec Queen. We can see right here at the end. Very colorful. Very pretty. The English have been given Sir Francis Drake. Looks very cool. Very, uh, almost conquistador-esque with that helmet. Very nice. The Chinese have been given Zheng Yi Sao. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but uh, I do believe she was a pirate leader, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, very nice. The Dutch get the Dutch Prince, a very colorful alternative to William the Silent. The French will be getting Marianne. The French goddess of liberty. The Germans will be getting Empress Sissi from the House of Wittelsbach. She looks very nice. I'm excited for that one. Uh, more my flavor than the Fraulein, so I'm excited for this choice. Although we need some manly men German explorers. Uh, I'm, what I really want to see, it's a little bit anachronistic, I want to see Friedrich Barbarossa brought from Age of Empires 2 into the AOE3 timeline here as an explorer. Uh, but we need some kind of... Uh, Manly man, German explorer. The Haudenosaunee pick up Thayen Danegea? Thayen Danegea. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Known to Western leaders as Joseph Brandt. So yeah, we'll call him Joseph Brandt. This Haudenosaunee war chief used his talents in diplomacy and war to great effect in the interests of the Six Nations. Looks pretty interesting. Again, a very colorful option. Very nice. The Inca will be receiving the Quechua woman. 
A Quechua woman in the traditional violet Cusco dress featuring an ornate boyera skirt with llama patterns. Okay. Uh, very nice. Very nice. I feel like uh, Koya already has the pink theme going there. Uh, so I don't know how different she's going to look, but uh, that's a nice pickup. All right. The Indians will be getting the Armored Elephant, which I predict will be maybe the most colorful option. Uh, looks like the rider and the elephant will share the team color, uh, which would be pretty neat. And then, of course, you do get an elephant wearing a helmet, it looks like, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, that'll be a nice pickup for the Indians. The Ottomans will be picking up Kelebi, or Chelebi, which is, uh, he looks pretty cool. I think I like the design of this guy. Uh, very Ottoman looking. I like the turban. Um, I think in the same vein as Sahin, but I like it. I like it. The Portuguese are picking up Canganchero. Canganchero? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it uh, looks like a very interesting figure with the very unique headwear and eyewear, it looks like. So he will definitely stand out as a unique explorer. The Russians get the Hussar Devochka. I think she's pretty cool. I like her Hussar hat. I like the Imperial jacket. The uniform looks really cool. I'm not sure what's up with the skirt. I don't know if that's maybe if there's a historical background to that or if it's just a pretty skirt. I don't know the deal there. Uh, but she looks pretty cool. I think she'll definitely stand out, uh, you know, between the Boyar and the Default Explorer. She is definitely a unique choice for the Russians. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, the Swedes get Thor as a new explorer. And I love how in the background, the flag has these runes uh, decorating the flag. That's kind of a, a pretty unique uh, addition there to the flag. But uh, I'm really curious to see, is it just the skin? Uh, are there going to be electric particles as he hits things with his hammer? Or, you know, is his snapshot going to be, uh, have this crackle of lightning when he fires? I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what, if anything, changes with Thor. But that should be a really fun pickup for the, uh, the Swedes. All right, and that covers it. Thanks so much, guys. This is a really exciting patch, I think, not only as far as the aesthetics go, but also as far as some of the changes they're making. I think it'll be really fun and a really interesting patch. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless.